Okay, okay. So it looks like I am live. And I just want to say hi to everyone. And as I am waiting for you to jump on, we are going to be talking about some uh, some of these tests that are being offered for the coronavirus. And I am getting a ton of questions from my own patients, friends, family, and I wanted to be able to just deliver um, and create a little bit of clarity out there. So people are asking me about um, the tests that are happening out there. And when we begin to take a look at the different tests that are being offered out there for a COVID-19 test, um, look, the CDC is, you know, one of the things that they recommend for people and people have been running to do is the nasopharyngeal swab, which what that is, is it's a six inch, you know, it's a six inch cotton swab. And um, what they do is they take this swab and they put it up both sides of your nostril, right? And they move it around for like 15 seconds and it won't hurt, but it will be uncomfortable. Uh, and then they'll send that out to the lab test. And within a couple of days, you will know uh, whether or not you have an active, um, an active COVID-19. And many times there are false positives. So how uh, accurate are they? Mm, nobody really knows uh, how truly accurate they are. Uh, then there's other tests like the oropharyngeal test, which is the mouth and the throat. And then there's uh, the nasal mid uh, turbinate test, which is the middle of the nostrils. And then you also have uh, ones for the front of the nostrils that they do. And then if somebody has a cough with mucus, um, which is a productive wet cough, uh, doctors might also test what comes out of uh, the cough, the cough up. Okay. So they, they do that as well. Uh, now, the, the tests that are the best to do would be the antibody test. So when we take a look at the antibody test, um, what you need to understand is how do I read that antibody test? Because you are going to get an IgM and an IgG, okay, um, test here. So when that happens, if you turn up positive for IgM, what that's saying is that um, this right here is the active, active uh, form of it. So it means, hey, look, you have it right now. And this is where they want you to quarantine for the 14 days if you have the positive IgM, okay? Uh, because your body, it's going to take about two weeks before those levels begin to drop. And, uh, and then you would show up uh, positive for the IgG because IgG is uh, it's going to take a little bit longer, right? So it takes longer and within about four weeks of you having it, IgG will show up on, on your test. And that says, hey, look, now I have these antibodies. So I am, you know, I'm protected and uh, there's no way that I could pass it along to anybody. I'm not contagious at all. If I am positive uh, IgG in the antibody test, okay? Today you have, um, I believe that they're gonna have, you know, people getting tested for the IgM and IgG uh, in order to see if certain people can go back to their workplace. At least that would be the most accurate, right? because uh, those swabs are only gonna tell you anything that is immediate if you have it right now. So if you know somebody who went and they got that swab and they tested negative, it doesn't mean that they weren't positive uh, and they had, the, they, were, they had IgG, right? They were IgG positive, which means that they've had it uh, and they are not contagious at all. So I hope that this information uh, shines some, shine some light um, 
in your life and it gave you some clarity on uh, on understanding the testing uh, for COVID-19. So when we begin to take a look at, um, at these tests, um, people, let's not be um, so frightened of the virus. Let's be more frightened of being unhealthy and not taking care of ourselves. Because if you're in that state, this, this is, has to be an awakening for you to say, look, let me start taking better care of my health. What's that look like for you? Is it, um, let me hydrate more. Let me have a starting point. Let me hydrate more. Let me start drinking half my body weight in ounces of water. Okay, great. Hydration is great for your body. Okay. Is it, um, is it going to be, let me start to breathe and just stop for a moment and start to breathe more. Like today, like I was talking to one of my patients and she was stressed. So I was just teaching her some basic breathing techniques. And she's like, oh my God, I feel so relaxed. I'm going to apply that into my life right now, right? I had a nurse that came in, right? She's front lines taking care of um, COVID patients. Like we're taking care of these frontline nurses and, and docs. And she came in and she says, man, I'm just being, I'm being overworked. I'm exhausted. And thank God for you and, and above and beyond Holistic Wellness Center, because this has been a godsend for me and it gives me the power and the energy to be able to have another day. She is like nonstop working, right? Nonstop. And uh, she's on the front lines and she's doing everything that she can. She's got such a beautiful, pure heart and she just wants to help, but she is exhausted and she is being beat up, um, you know, from working so hard. But she is, uh, she's so grateful, so grateful, living in a state of uh, gratitude for us being open and taking care of her and some of the other colleagues of nurses and doctors in our area as we are a trusted source for them, right? But um, what else you can do? Like you take a look at the shirt right here and it says health and dis-ease. When you look at health, you see that this is fully connected. The safety pin is connected, meaning that the brain and the body are communicating properly with all organs, all muscles, sending life intelligence and wisdom throughout so that the body can do exactly what it needs to do and be able to adapt to stressors and everything else that it, that may come its way. When we have a disconnected, we have this disconnect going on right here, it's open, right? There's a disconnect happening. If this disconnect is happening, what do we need to do? We need to reconnect it, right? We reconnect it, the brain, the body, the connections to the muscles, the connections to the organs are gonna to begin to function better. There's gonna be less stress on the body, less stress on the body, more life, more of a, a healing mechanism from within because the power that made the body has the ability to heal the body, right? As long as there's no interference. This right here, no interference. This right here, interference, okay? This right here, interference. So. I know that people are, um, are, are are starting to get sick and tired of, um, of being trapped up in their homes. So people, go outside, be in the sun, hydrate, walk around your property, walk around the block, breathe, connect, create, do something that brings you some joy, all right? Um, and be kind, be kind to people. Even if you're on Facebook, don't be a, don't be a, a, a Facebook, um, ninja trying to tear people down, you know, reach for better, better words, reach for better feelings, um, during this time of crisis in, in life and, and look to turn, you know, these, um, lemons that you have into, uh, a great fruitful lemonade. Um, enjoy, enjoy the time with your family. Enjoy the time with yourself. Um, look at this as a rebirth from um, from God to give you a reset in life, so to say, and say, here, create this new aspect of life for yourself. 
You know, there are um, there's a lot of gifts that also come out of this. And for anybody who's lost a loved one, uh, my heart is with you. My prayers are with you uh, wholeheartedly. And uh, we're getting through this together. We're getting through this together. And just to recap on the on the testing, look, um, we talked earlier about the nasopharyngeal swab test, which is about a six inch swab going all the way up, holding it for about 15 seconds, both sides of nostril. That'll tell you, okay, um, whether you have it right now or not. And this right here is, um, this is only for active COVID. And is it accurate all the time? Uh, not as accurate as the antibody test IgM uh, positive response would show that you have active um, COVID right now. IgG means that you already have all the antibodies. You're, you've had it for a long time. You're not contagious at all. You don't need to continue to quarantine. We're looking for, uh, for more of those um, people who have the IgG and we want the healthy people to get it because that creates what we call herd immunity. Okay. Um, look, health starts from within. It's not an outside in process. It's not going to come in, in a pill, potion, or lotion. It's not about that magic vaccine because it's not right. The greatest healer in the world is the doctor from within. You're exposed to viruses all the time. Your body, when it's running really healthy and well, has the ability to fight off, um, viruses and bacteria all the time. So let's work on creating a healthy, strong body. Uh, and if we begin to do that, we can make America healthy again. You know, let's make America healthy. Let's make it about that. Um, and that's what's most important. Send them my love to you. God bless. I'm going to go put my, my little ones to sleep. And God bless. Bye-bye.